Hi, and welcome to this all standing 10 minute abs and balance workout. Grab a chair that you can use to hold on to for some of those balance challenges. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Quick warm up, just a standing cat cow. So let's hinge over, hands on top of the thighs. Then I want you to round the back, tuck the chin, gaze up at that belly button, and then reverse chin up and shift those hips back. Let's do that a few more times. Warming up the core and the spine, pull the belly button in and release. Shoulders back, chin up. One more time. Round and lift. Round again, tuck those hips, roll it up nice and slow. One vertebrae at a time, finishing with the shoulders. Come into a nice wide leg position here, toes facing the corners. And hands we're going to hold up in a parallel position. Bend those knees as low as you are comfortable. I'm going to start twisting side to side. Pull the core in, belly button towards the spine. A few more here. Now let's take a one arm as we twist, reach it back behind you, come back to center reach back and center. Little tuck with your hips so the pelvis comes slightly forward, helping to engage that core. Reach and center. Three more like this. Last one. Both arms straight up to the ceiling. Keep the bend in the knees and then bend the elbow, reaching down to the side and left. Just alternating sides down and left. Keep those knees bent. Really pull it down, stretching from the side, using those obliques. Exhale as you pull down. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Relax the hands toe, heel, the feet in. Option here to hover your leg, hold onto the chair, or just drop your toe if that's too challenging. I'm going to put my hands on my hips and hover my leg, and then we're going to tuck our hips and release. Tuck and release. So ever so slightly hinged forward, using that core. Again, you can hold onto the chair or drop that toe about a foot in front of your other leg. Tuck, release. Let's go three, two, one. Shake it out, same thing. Let's switch feet. Take that foot up or toe on the floor. We tuck, release. A little standing crunch. Four, three, two, one. Great job. That was a great balance challenge. Coming to your chair or maybe a mantle or a taller couch, take a step back, but the further you step back, the more challenging it will be. And then we're going to bring your knee in bent to one elbow to the other elbow and put it down, switching sides. So elbow, elbow, and switch elbow, elbow, switch. Try not to round your back too much here. So cross, side, and down. Keep breathing. If you want more of a challenge, you can even come up onto that tippy toe or take even a further step back. Let's do one more each side. Excellent job, shake that out. Arms are gonna reach up nice and high here. And I want you to lean to the side, come back to center, tuck the hips round the back and reach the arms forward and left. Side lean, center and left. 
reaching with those arms. Big stretch. Good tuck and reach. Tuck and reach. Let's do four more. Last two. Last one. Release it down. Holding on one hand on the chair. Reach your right leg forward, point that toe, and then we're gonna crunch it forward, bringing the chest towards the knee, and then lean back. You come forward and lean back. Good, keep it up. As big a movement as you can. Be mindful of your back. That core is pulled in, engaged the whole time. You wanna do a balance check and let go of the chair. Challenge yourself. Let's do two more. Same right leg, tap it out to the side. Reach the right arm up and over, and let's draw our knee towards our elbow and reach. Little side crunch and reach. Doesn't matter if your elbow doesn't reach your knee. Just want you to get that little contraction right here. We've got four, three, two, last one. Beautiful job. I'm going to switch my chair to the other side. Stand up nice and tall. Leg comes forward. Arm is up. Let's lean back and then crunch forward, drawing the elbow towards the knee. Inhale as you reach back. Exhale forward. Lifting the leg is allowing us to engage those lower abdominals. Two more. Out to the side, reach that arm, extend the leg. We crunch knee to elbow and reach. Last four, three, two, one, and come back to center. Hands on the hips, stand nice and tall, little bend in those knees, a few more pelvic tucks here, forward and back, forward and back. So you're squeezing the glutes and rocking that pelvis forward, contracting those abdominals. Just four, three, two, last one. Give me a couple little hip rotations here, all the way around. And reverse. One more time. Wonderful job. Let's do a couple stretches just to release any tension that might have built up in that lower back. Stepping back from your chair, shift those hips back, dropping the chest. Big inhale. On your exhale, lower those hands. Just forward fold, hang here. Bend your knees, tuck your tailbone, round the back. One vertebrae at a time. Inhale, exhale, drop the chin, roll it down. Bend the knees, we come halfway up. Keep the knees bent, shift the hips back, and then shift your hips side to side, keeping that back rounded. Again, just releasing any tension in that lower back. Belly button still pulled in. One more time round, roll it up. Nice and slow. 
finishing with those shoulders. Set your posture for the day. Core is in, big inhale. And exhale down. Nice job, thanks for joining me today. Next video is our stretch. Stay tuned for that. Again, all standing. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.